So, let's check out your mail. You are talking about potentially selfie because the other character in there is crashing. Those are all good points. Um, what you could do, I mean, you could just have a foot. Not that it's going to look too cut off, but I'm, I'm imagining something where basically you just see an arm ready with, with a, you know, a finger pose. I don't even know what I'm drawing here, but imagine there's the finger and then somehow you got your wrist there. Again, I get a draw. And an arm, an arm comes out and maybe, you know, the beginning of a silhouette, maybe a foot. So I don't know how perspective wise, I guess the feet would be here. Something maybe more from the back, but there's something where you don't have to see much and you can just imply that someone's ready with um, the photo taking. And maybe then as he crashes, all the hand is doing kind of like, uh, and is all frustrated. Which actually reminds me of, hold on, if I bring up Cameron's reel at the end of the awesome twerk stuff, uh, there's this one, and I'm always looking at um, this moment here, right? So it's that type of off-screen acting where your character could be like this and maybe ready with, um, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> with his arm up, whatever, the thing is ready, right? And then as he falls off, that arm would slightly droop and just a little bit of acting just through that arm that, oh, again, this character has done this again. Maybe there's some history that you can imply, not to be too fancy, but that might help you, uh, you, know, you can bring in any character so it doesn't crash the scene, so that you just have an arm and uh, a hand and finger. I think that would be my thing. You also talk about putting a banner that says best catch. That sounds good. I'm always kind of hesitant um, about putting text in shots just because then you start reading and you distract them from what's going on. I think you might be just as well off doing something where you have, you know, colorful stuff here. Maybe you got some balloons attached and some garlands or whatever, not garlands, but whatever you want to call these ESL here, um, which makes it festive, right? And then maybe flowers. I don't know what you want to put in, but if someone that looks weirdly like a shark mouth, which could be that, maybe that's what it is. Your eyes and teeth, and it's a standy thing where he just stands there because it's funny. He has a fish and he's surrounded by this big fish thing, right? With fins and stuff. And why not? I mean, that would also make sense why he's taking a photo there. Now, looking at the animation, uh, I know what I said last week was. Add complications, complications, complications. I totally understand. But I think what you've done here is great. Now you are concerned about speed, which I agree, but I think you can make this whole thing faster. So if you take this, that's gonna be okay. I think once you're in here, and I know this, this is the heavy part, you don't wanna speed this up too much. A, I'm slightly concerned about how far over he is hunched there, <coughs> excuse me. As maybe the body might be more like this, holding on to it. So he's trying to get up, not like this, where he would just fall over and really um, destroy his back. You can start with something like this, um, but as he goes up, you can go into the classic, you know, C curve reverse, where you know he starts hunched over and then leans back to pull this up. Now that you might say, yeah, but it's going to take away from this. Sure, but what you could do is he starts the lift and you're starting with a, you know, a C-curve back, but there's still enough front weight on the fish itself. And because it's so heavy, despite him trying to lean back and carry that, that character, uh, the, the fish, it's still, it's still off balance enough for him to fall this way, to take a step, and this, this, where, this is where it feels kind of slow, like this through here. I imagine we can kind of speed up a bit. But that's cool, all the steps forward using space. <laughs> I like that moment. I think you potentially speed this up where it's bing, tail. So maybe that coming alive could be shortened. I know I'm shaving off a couple of frames, but you know, frames here and there might well, that's a help. See, this feels long. This feels suddenly slow motion where I think once he does this, what you could do is shake, shake, shake on the tail, slight slowdown, where he just kind of wakes up and shakes, and he looks down going, 
what's going on and then you go right into holy shit where it's just a lot of movement a lot of movement so all of this happens and i know i'm going back to what i was saying but maybe it happens around here so that he goes this way now this might be in the way i know i'm adding complications but i'm trying to find ways to cut it down when i think this whole section is very long and could be could be changed probably this whole pause again i don't know if he's trying to be in the picture again but i think you can just go into wakes up he looks down oh what's happening to chaos 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 into and then that's it uh make one more frame i know it's stepped but one more frame where you see the tail so it doesn't completely zip out and i think for him you could play this that he gets out out of his grip and his hands are trying to hold on to it because of that he gets pulled with the fish a bit so it, it's not just a fall back but a slight not jumping back you know but being pulled back by the fish a little bit so you have a clearing of this i know this is makes no sense that if you jump from here you still have that overlap but anyway it's just a feeling of not just falling back but being pulled because of that fish backwards a bit just get a bit more oomph in there and then you could fall back here not visible but back there and then the water comes out here anyway that's about it that's all i have i think it's a great update i totally understand your concerns so i think just little fixes that we can uh put in there just to speed up the thing i don't think it's going to get longer i think we can actually make it shorter okay thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you